This is the Sand Pit. I'm your host, Sean Cole, and welcome to today's edition of the Pit Stop, where you, the pit crew, you guys are the star of today's show. You know that, because you're here to talk about sim racing with me each and every day. And uh, I love that there's always so much to talk about, and sometimes we get into diversions and have great discussions. Sometimes we just get right to the news and uh, move right along, which is what I'm going to do today. And of course, if there's anything that you want to talk about, uh, please chime in. I'll try to stay with the chat as best I can, but I hope you're having a good Thursday so far. Uh, if I, I, I think I'm in pretty good spirit, but if I seem at all off, I've been awake since three o'clock this morning. I don't know why my back hurt. I couldn't go to sleep. I had work to do. Figured, ah, screw it. I'm going to get to work. Anyway, so I've been here a while. I'm on like my 10th cup of coffee already. Uh, and we'll see how that works out for the day. Uh, anyway, what's going on in the world of sim racing? Starting off with the guys over at Forza Motorsport. I should say the people over at Forza Motorsport. I gotta stop using words like guys and girls. But, uh, tomorrow, tomorrow being today, Mechberg, Brian Eckberg, uh, is gonna be doing a 343 social stream for some Warthog racing. So, I, I'm sure if you have done the Warthog, it's probably hard to actually find events that will uh, actually let you run it. Or, I mean, I think they have their specialty events, but what about in a crowd? Anyway, uh, tomorrow being today, they've got their uh, Haler, Halo Mixer, they're calling it. And uh, you can you can actually race the Halo. Oh, it's offline, but it's going to be on Mixer. And let's see, do I have a time? That's going to be 1.30 Pacific time today. Um, yes, I definitely need a bicycle ride. Dave Blair, I am staying away from Red Dead Redemption. That's been uh, uh, an ongoing topic. I want to play it so bad, but I have so many things to do. Also, uh, you know, I, I got to give credit where credit's due, but these old school, new school designs um, that they do for the Huna, Huna truck uh, for Mr. Block. Anyway, that is a badass truck. This is something that is coming to Forza Horizon 4. Uh, the Hoonigans Toyo Tires Gymkhana 10 Hooney truck. Uh, very similar to the, I don't know what they called the Mustang, but there was a most Mustang version. Um, wow, look at I thought he'd be taller. <laughs> uh, anyway, if this video here, this is at Forza Motorsport, but uh, showing off the Huna truck with the Oh, on the Mustang, one of those was red and one was blue, the turbo fronts. Um, anyway, 914 horsepower twin turbo EcoBoost V6. Gotta love that. Anyway, uh, I, I will admit I like, like I said, this old school, new, new school. Same thing they did with that Mustang. I thought it was very well done. Um, something you'll be able to do. Also, here's another image. Uh, more imagery of what it would look like if we raced Warthogs. There's some Warthog racing going on. So, um, sounds like something that, yeah, it's like a resto mod full on. I wonder how much of that is even a real truck or if it's just some fiberglass body. I'm sure somebody in our group here probably knows exactly the answer to that question. Uh, it needs more races, not more vehicles. Uh, F1 talking about Brendan just yesterday had showed his Twitter page uh, how much... Hoonicorn, Hoonicorn, thank you, Brian. Um, that's the Mustang variation. Uh, but anyway, Brendan yesterday posted uh, getting ready for next week being round two of the eSports series F1 2018. And anyway, today, Formula One, the game page, is posting the same thing. It's 100% real truck. Thank you, Wasted. Thank you. Fiber body? Carbon fiber body? Or... Or... Uh, Old school fiber. What do you call old school fiber? Um, <laughs> fiberglass? <laughs> no truck there? 77 Ford? Oh, we're getting mixed responses. Anyway, uh, also posted at Formula One Game is a cool little video. It's a GIF, I should say. Is it GIF? 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 What is the wording on that? But uh, Hoonicorn 2, we are getting a lot of mixed responses. They called it uh, something else, didn't they? Anyway, they're showing uh, some of the action from the last round there and all that coming up in about a week. Blow through these really quick because we've really talked about them until we're blue in our face, but I want to show a few things off. Number one, maybe missed in all the action was that Tim Ryan won the Outlaw Craftsman Sprint Car Championship. 
So there is a write-up on iRacing.com. That championship pays 4400 4450 to be more specific. And the inaugural champion there is an Australian, Tim Ryan, who just won that championship. In addition to that, this is at NASCAR.com. So one of the reasons only Ford and that is the motor. Um... <laughs> Brad, we're gonna start a. It's a, a gif. Uh, it's like gift without the T. We're gonna start a, a nerd war. Anyway, uh, one thing that goes with being the iRacing racing peak antifreeze champion is that you do get fully acknowledged by NASCAR. So not only do you get written up in their on their site, but here's an article here at NASCAR.com talking about Alfala Junio Yimas. Ganu, Ganu's Yamas. I I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, there we go. Uh, Al Fowler wins. It's at NASCAR. He'll be walking the stage. He'll be getting a NASCAR ring. Just showing you how much legs it's getting. Box this lap. Talking about Cronky winning his third title. So again, we have our big three champions, or three of the four or five champions that I can think of in I Racing at this point. Um, I Racing, as you know, the second. Wow, we can already start getting excited about round three of Assetto Corsa. Anyway, uh, round two of Assetto Corsa came with the rating system. And so there is actually a cool video that was actually promoted by Assetto Corsa. And it was done by RoomRoom.net. Never heard of them. But it's explaining their rating system. This came up on my, uh, my phone feed, actually, of all places. Uh, so I'd seen it, and then it was also sent in by a few of the pit crew out there letting me know good things to cover on the pit stop. But anyway, Assetto Corsa Competizione rating system explained SEE Part 1. How's my driving 1-800 Kunos? Uh, so you'll find that video uh, from Room Room, and you'll find it also through the Twitter page for Assetto Corsa. Evening UK. Um, <laughs> say my name. <laughs> all right r factor talking about next week so i believe it's next week isn't it uh sunday this it's this week the mclaren shadow finals are nearly here so we watched three different rounds of qualifying basically to seed the grid and this sunday at 5 p.m cest on twitch tv under r factor live we are going to see the final shootout. This is going to be the final in the R Factor 2 round for the McLaren Shadow competition. Um, everything from the Netherlands. Sorry for Caps. His bootin is not working. Not sure what we're talking about there. Oh, Brad. Don't do it until I have. I can play it. I'm, I'm too jealous. Uh, Inter Davin, I got myself a road bike, actually. I'm just lacking the time, and I have too many excuses to ride it. No, I've only taken it for about four rides, and that right now should be more like 16 rides. That's how far behind I am. But I did get a bike, and it's a beauty, and I have it hanging on my wall so that it laughs at me when I'm being lazy. The only problem is I've gotten pretty good at self-pity, so as it laughs, I just laugh along with it. Uh, I need to get... I need to flip the switch on that. Uh, anyway, at the end of the show, I'll tell you some things going around here, which is going to help on that very topic right there. Uh, the Crew 2 talking about bring your spookiest creations to life in the Crew 2's new Halloween event. So uh, apparently they have a link here in their weekly Halloween event, if you're excited about that. There you go. Uh, but anyway, we're getting to the close of eh, October, blah, blah, blah. Your team's favorite three entries will win 10,000 crew credits and be featured on our official channels. Um, so there you go. Crew 2 has some fun things going on. This is a big deal. So Race Room is one we don't talk a lot uh, enough about, I think. And a lot going on, whether you talk about just the amount of updates and things going on with Race Room, whether you talk about the eSport level and things that we have covered a little bit here. Uh, but... Their latest uh, uh, update is now happening. Uh, it's either happened or now happening. I have the change log here in a moment. But we are seeing the new Mercedes-AMG CLK. This was driven to the DTM Championship. Glory by 
Bernd Schneider, I'm sure I massacred his name, in 2003, and the Mercedes-AMG DTM C-Class that helped Gary Paffett become champion in 05. Both are now available in their store. So, anyway, uh, beautiful cars. I've all, th this, I will say this is one of, the CLK uh, is one of my all-time favorite body shapes for a sedan, I have to admit. Uh, when I see those on the road, even older ones, I'm always blown away by just how awesome they are. Um, anyway, that is out now. You can get both of those cars in their thing. Plus, oh, here we have another link here at their main page. And then we have the full release notes as well. So they have a blog. This is the Sector3Studios.com forum, they're actually calling it. Um, but uh, talking about... I'm, I'm behind on the chat on what you guys are talking about. But we have the full list of all the updates that come along with um, the the new cars that are now available for race room. So, again, another car update. My Summer Car 2. I've You know, the last update was supposed to be gigantic. I played it quite a while ago and had a blast with it. We did a, a live stream with My Summer Car and had a really good time. It was confusing as can be. It was difficult as can be. It's not a driving sim per se. I mean, you can drive. It's a fun game that deals with, well, I, I don't want to spoil it. You go watch my stream, I guess. But apparently they have a now, they now have a new update. So this is at Race Department, a full write-up on some of the things that have gone on. I This game is, is definitely for adults. This is not a child's game. But if you want to learn how, and in this case of the, the theme of this game, be compelled to build a motor or build an entire car otherwise you're walking to the store uh you might want to check out my summer car uh but two-year anniversary now live is what they're calling it uh rick motek i've been teasing the mpi wheels and all the the new ones anyway here's rows and rows of mpi max pappas industries uh steering wheels they're going to be we've sh shown a few different variations uh of some of the mpi wheel rims that they're going to do that one with the Thrustmaster hub. I think we saw a really nice one that had... There's a, a oval racing one with just a t push to talk button. I think we saw a really nice one. Where do I have it? I, it's not here. I found it somewhere else. Um, that had like their metal paddle shifters. Magnetic <coughs> paddle shifters. Hey, hey. I love me metal paddle shifters too, buddy. Um, what else to talk about? Esport. Williams Esport has had a pretty good run. Uh, so if you look up, I mean, I, I usually go championship by championship, so to speak. But in the month of October, uh, you had GT Sport winner, overall winner, Igor Fraga, who won the San, Sao Paulo Logitech G Challenge. You And so these are William Esport drivers doing things more than just F1 2018. Uh, also in Barcelona, the Nissan GT Challenge, their runner-up, Patrick Blazin, in third place, uh, runner-up and third place. So runner-up was Patrick Blazin. Third place, Koku Lopez. I'm sure I murdered his name. And then finally, also Williams Esport drivers were part of the, the, the podium at the Forza RC World Finale. This was the big event in the Gfinity Arena in London. And you had third place Gary Mitchell. So when we when we talk about their monster list of drivers, and that is a lot of drivers, when you think most of the, the Formula One teams in eSport, you think of them as having two, three, four, you know, maybe type uh, drivers. In the case of Williams, this is, again, Williams eSport. Uh, the list goes on and on and on. And again, they had a very good run in October. So congratulations to them on being one of the premier teams out there. MotoGP promoting their next round because the second and last semifinal of the season is fast approaching with the 12 fastest players from challenges 5 through 8 head-to-head -head around Motorland Aragon. So they're showing off the finale and everything going on. And this is going to take place uh, Monday the 29th of October uh, as we'll be able to tune in on that or when it begins on the 30th is when their one-hour stream will be. So... Just a little heads up on that coming up if you just want to put in your calendar for something to watch. Yesterday, we, we showed off the Pimax website and everything was showing out of stock. Apparently, at some point yesterday, it actually went live to where you could pre-order. So they are out of stock, but they are accepting 
pre-orders on what's going to now be the official retail version of the AK, 8K and 5K VR headsets. I've heard very good things about the 5K. I've heard very mediocre things about the 8K, funny enough. Uh, that could be video card related. I don't know, but uh, they're over my head. 5K plus 700 bucks, 8K 900, 5K BE. Uh, I'm not sure what the BE stands for. I'm not a super, super duper Pimax aficionado. I am a, a fan, but I am not super knowledgeable of their whole lineup. But anyway, if you want to get a pre-order on them, you can now apparently order or pre-order, I should say, the Pimax VR displays, which could be, they could be the first of the true next-gen VR headsets available. What else to talk about? Full throttle. Uh, this is kind of getting this kind of getting to the point of beating a dead horse from uh, the news media in general and full throttle in particular. But yet another write up on Forza Horizon Four. Ralph Fulton discusses shared open world Britain at Goodwood launch. Well, this is like the third or fourth write up they've done from Goodwood, which was an eternity ago now. Um, so anyway, business edition. <laughs> uh. Anyway, uh, if you are interested in that and you can't get enough Forza Horizon 4, you'll find that at full throttle. Uh, what was this? Oh, okay. I got to get my audio. I hope everybody get ready with your volume adjuster. See, at least I'm giving you a warning now. I'm going to play audio. Um, let me... This was sent in and, you know, we've talked about eSport and how it affects... Sim racing. We talked about eSport and how it's our link to real-life motorsport. We've also talked about Formula E and how it's, interestingly enough, sort of a crossover from both. You know, like if here's real-life racing, here's sim racing, here's Formula E. It's not like right there. It's like this more direct tangent almost. But anyway, here are the new sounds, and I just want your guys' thoughts and opinion on this year's Formula E. This is at their test at Barcelona, I believe. Um, anyway. All right, so my question to you guys. Is there anything wrong with that? Is there something wrong? Is I, I like and I am... It sounds like... The RC cars I used to run when I, you know, like 10 years ago. Sounds like something out of Tron. I'm not sure if I'm okay with that. I mean, the car is badass. I mean, that's a beautiful car. I don't care what you say. Um, but, what? That sound, that's just not racing. Is it a Dyson? <laughs> hmm. All right, all right. I, 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 anyway, it's just, I thought it was a cool video. I thought it was worth seeing. I do feel like there's a relationship between Formula E and sim racing or eSport. Um, but it does kind of make you think or wonder also. Um, all right, I'm not going to dwell on this. This coincides with so many things that we've been talking about, but I just want to show you how many places are covering this topic. So Ferrari's a rib, I'm murdering his name, forgive me. A river Benny, and I should know his name because I know this character. Where's his the silver-haired dude from Ferrari? Anyway, he's like the head of Ferrari racing. Feels Formula One faces competition from eSport. Like, <clears throat> there could be a time where the F1 2018 eSport is getting as big a market share as real-life Formula One. That's essentially his in concept thoughts that it could happen. Uh, here it is at checkeredflag.co.uk. Here it is. Oh, there he is. Um, here it is. Uh, GP, GP today talking about it. Here it is at 
carscoops.com. Same story, three different places I found it this morning. Actually, they were sent in to me to give credit where credit is due. But, man, we are growing. We are growing so fast, so fast, guys and girls, people. <clears throat> I think I covered this six days ago when the video came out, but I can't remember for sure if I didn't. It was sent in, so I'm just going to show it again. Could be a fun game. True achievements, talking about dangerous driving, highlights, drifts, and takedowns. And there is a video, uh, there's a YouTube video that you could find yourself. Uh, went We went to Madrid, behind the scenes of dangerous driving, showing off, uh, you know, I mean, just kind of an old school looks and smells and sounds like a sim racer. But at the same time, just totally about playing like an arcade style game. Uh, could be fun, could be cool, if you're into it. Oh, that was, you know, did you see the deformation of the car there when it hit the tree? That was, that was good stuff. Cool car damage. Look at that, missing wheels, little flames coming out of it. Anyway, that's kind of stuff. When I think about a video game, an automotive gaming type game, um, those are the kind of things that I want to be over the top awesome. I mean, maybe in a sim they can't really deal with it. But in a game, I, that's a must. So anyway, what else we got? Esport athletes will soon be able to bet on themselves. I've seen this and heard about this a few times. It's the first time I've mentioned it here on the show. But, you know, in baseball, you can't bet on yourself. Uh, it's pretty traditional that in sports, you're not really allowed to bet on yourself. And I don't even understand if I... Th I don't know. Esport. Talk about a sport that could be vulnerable to cheating, uh, anyway, uh, this is the next level. The next thing is happening. I'm hearing rulings that's going to allow for more and more betting on eSport, uh, which, whew, I don't know. I don't know if that's the same as betting on sport. I don't know. <laughs> All right, what else? What else? Moving right along. ATS Special Transport, State of Progress. So, uh, Special Transport. I, I remember when they moved the space shuttle to the Science Center here in L.A., and it was a really big deal. And Toyota even did a commercial of them pulling the truck. But uh, ATS, this could be one of the ultimate challenges. One of these special transports with like multiple hinge points designed to carry like ridiculously large cargo. So there is an update right up. And this is right at SCS. They're the makers of ATS. Uh, but uh, the blog.scssoft.com. Is where you're going to find that, and that could be uh, something that people are really into. I know we have a lot of truckers in our in our group here, believe it or not. Uh, so I know that uh, people are going to go read that one for sure. Um, California has 45% of all the Teslas in the United States. That doesn't surprise me. I see them 10 a day. Um, all right, this is just uh, we're getting to the end of the show. This was my made me laugh of the day for sure when I. Whenever I put on a VR, I'm thinking about this. Um, what's good, Sean, in case you were wondering, finished. Hey, Shane, congratulations. P6 out of 36 at Talladega. Anytime you can get to the end and be up at the front at Talladega, you know, getting the win is a crapshoot, but survival is the first goal. And P6, not bad. Good job. Good job, bud. Um, anyway, this is what happens when you buy your partner a VR headset. So, if you... Or especially if you have roommates, don't be surprised if things are happening behind your back, maybe even videos being posted on YouTube as you sit there and drive, sit there racing your sim rig, thinking everything's innocent, and your girlfriend is just ultimate clowning you. Um, anyway, this was posted, where am I, in case you want to see it, racinginvr.com. But I guess this girlfriend, uh, Natalie Tran, Posted this video on YouTube. Videos received $2.2 million, but as he sits there not knowing this is going on, uh, she is just <laughs> doing my worst fear of being in VR. <laughs> he doesn't even know. Oh, oh, he said something. What is that? It was probably her hair touching him. Anyway, that made me laugh. Oh, man, I forgot to play the audio. So there you go. Be careful when you VR. Kimber, if you have any great videos of uh, Brandon, you be sure to send them into the show, of course. 
Um, all right, what else do we got? Have, I should say. Ah, the Simpit Ferrari F2004. You know, one of the most wicked cars on a Soto Corsa came in that Ferrari update, and that's that Ferrari F2004. Uh, Sean Seabrand of Pro Sim Racing is sort of carrying the torch when it comes to our Sim Racing Systems Sim Pit Series. And he went ahead and picked the car and the tracks, and we have a whole season of racing coming up uh, that I'm very much looking forward to. And I want to thank Sean Seabrand for d getting this going. This starts tonight, I do believe. So there is a promo video. You're going to find it on Pro Sim Racing. Um, i got to turn that down a little bit, it sounds like. And I can give you the audio of his video. There's our buddy Sean Seabrand talking about the series. But you'll find the, the introduction of the promo video under Pro Sim Racing on YouTube. It's the Sim Pit Ferrari F2004 Series announcement telling you all about the details involved in it. In addition to that, there is the schedule we're looking at. So Spa, Suzuka. Oh, he picked some ones that I'd never even heard of. AIA, I can't remember what that is. VIR, Virginia. Uh, Jerez, GP, and Road America. So if you're looking for a fun series, uh, Sean usually streams his races. So that could be kind of cool as well. Uh, <laughs> not cool. Sorry, Brandon. <laughs> oh... Um, I fear the messing with. I fear the clowning, and I've done it to people when they're in it in, in VR as well. Um. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you, Sean Seabrand, for picking up the torch and taking care of that. Uh, I do appreciate it. And then on top of that, last night I didn't get a chance to stream it because I had a little problem. Uh, that problem being that I had a video card die, and it was hard for me to get my streaming setup set up last night, and I'm doing a lot of other things as well, which I'll tell you about in a moment. But uh, last night we did some uh, Outlaw Sprint Car in the 360s at Volusia with Billy Strange Racing. Billy Strange is here in the chat, I do believe, but uh, he usually puts replays and things together. But he's been teaching us. He's a, he, he actually knows. He actually used to race sprint cars, and he's been helping us get up to speed and He's done a great job with Stan Donnett because Stan Donnett uh, won the race and had a very, very good race last night. So I just want to congratulate him. Billy Strange finished in second and David Clymer finished in third. I was running in third all race long and then I just ate the wall. <laughs> I made a mess of it with like eight laps to go and ended up finishing in 10th. But that was a good time. We're going to do more dirt racing. It's always fun do, uh, doing dirt and uh, the other reason I didn't get a chance to stream is because I've just—it's been all hands on deck to try to get. Um, oh, oh, oh! What am I doing? Turn that off. Turn that off. Turn that off. Turn that on. The next level racing. There we go. The FGT sim racing chassis. I am three little pieces of my edit from being done. There's a new feature on YouTube that allows you to actually uh, have like a sit down viewing party. So as soon as that one's ready, I'm going to put it online and then I'm going to put like a one hour advanced warning where everybody can watch it together. It'll kind of like a live stream. I'll be there watching it live. I'll be able to do that. Need to be a, be a subscriber to the show to find out about those kind of videos going on. Um, and that'll be right here on this channel, not on the crew channel. So uh, tune in for that today for sure, probably within the next few hours. And then beyond that, right when I get off the air, well, about a half an hour from now, Mitchie Hoyer is going to be doing a Michael Clark challenge. I think he said something about Targa Floria. So that could be a fun stream to watch. That'll be live actually on the crew channel. So go to Sim Pit Crew, uh, and you'll be able to watch that stream coming up at 10, my stream in a few hours. Uh, Sean Seabrand and Sim Racing Systems going on tonight. And then tomorrow night, we pick things. Oh, I'll tell you about tomorrow, tomorrow. So you're going to have to be here tomorrow morning for the pit stop. But that's going to do it for today. This is The Sim Pit. I'm Sean Cole, and I'll see you on the track.